Uh, now to a story you will see only on CBS 4 tonight. Investigators in Arapahoe County say a man was hospitalized after eating at a fast food restaurant. And detectives are looking into the possibility someone put rat poison in his food. CBS 4 investigator Brian Moss learned of the investigation. And uh, wow. Wow is right. This all happened on Sunday. Mm -hmm. The man bought food at a Taco Bell restaurant on Smoky Hill Road. And that's where he argued with restaurant employees. The Taco Bell restaurant is on Smoky Hill Road in Buckley and is now the focus of the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. At this time, it, it is labeled as a, uh, a, t a criminal attempt homicide. Sheriff spokesperson John Bartman said a customer bought food at the restaurant Sunday afternoon. While here, he argued with employees. Hours later, the man called 911 and was hospitalized. That hospital said they had a patient that had uh, possibly uh, consumed rat poison in his food from the same restaurant. Right now what we're looking at is if the rat poison was actually put into his food at the restaurant. The manager of the restaurant called this ridiculous. She said they don't store any poison, any rat poison here at the store. She said they've turned over all their surveillance video to Arapahoe County Sheriff's investigators who are now reviewing that footage. The manager said sheriff's deputies came back Sunday night and closed down the restaurant saying, we poisoned somebody. We didn't do anything like that. It didn't even add up, said the manager. Sheriff's investigators say the amount of rat poison in the man's to-go order was significant, and they're not ruling out any possibility of how it ended up there. But right now, we're looking at how did this substance get into this gentleman's food? Now, the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office is not identifying the customer, and we've not been able to reach him for comment at this point. Arapahoe County is calling this an open and active investigation. We'll keep you updated. I'm sure you will, Brian. And, you know, I'm guessing it's hard to find a type of story that Brian Moss has not seen before. <laughs> this might be one of them, seriously. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Brian.